Do you remember back to the start of this series? Well, I certainly remember the sweat on my brow when as a young pathologist, I was called in after hours to look at a blood film with query acute leukemia. Now that I'm old, a lot of what I do is pattern recognition. But you, starting out in the lab, need to learn a method. It's a lot like interpreting ECGs. After using this method extensively, things become second nature. But first, let's practice the method. So I'm going to refer to the template for how to analyze an abnormal leukocyte population. And then we're gonna use it for lymphoid and then leukemia type samples. Okay, so if you refer to that method, let's go through it now line by line. Firstly, is the population all the same or is there difference? And we term that monomorphic or pleomorphic. Secondly, how big are the cells? We don't usually refer to that with pluses. We say, are they small, medium, large, or very large? Next, the NC or nucleus to cytoplasmic ratio. Is it moderate, high, or very high? Then focus on the nucleus. In fact, this is critical, particularly when it comes to blasts. So the first thing to look at is the nuclear chromatin. Is it open, fine, uncondensed, or closed, coarse, condensed nuclear chromatin? Can you see nucleoli within the nucleus? What is the nuclear shape? Round, indented, cleaved, oval? Then we move on to the cytoplasm. The first thing about the cytoplasm is the color. That may range from pale to gray, to pale basophilic, to deep blue basophilic. Then think about inclusions within the cytoplasm. Are there our rods, the holy grail for AML? Are there vacuoles? Are there other inclusions like granules within the cytoplasm? Finally, don't forget about the company that these abnormal cells keep. By which we mean, what about the rest of the film? It's so easy to get distracted with the pretty abnormal cells you often forget about. The normal things, red blood cells, platelets, and other white cells that are coming through on the film. So we've had a brief look through the whole template, but now let's look at each point in turn and see what it really means. 